Okay, so I apologize for the lighting. Um, it's early in the morning. What is time is it? Like 6.20. Um, and I'm on my way to a closing. Whew, thank goodness. Um, it's This one's been a little bit of a... Usually things happen in transactions towards the last minute of things. Um, but this time, multiple things were happening that were conveyed to me last minute and then I would have to chat with my buyer about stuff. Um, so I'm glad that we finally made it and everything is going to be fine. Um, of course, there's some last minute morning drama, but it will be fine. We are going to get closed. So it's 5.58 on Wednesday, January, January, June 9th. Um, I'm getting ready for to head out for a closing today. It is out in Sterling, which is about two hours away from me. So um, I've been up since five to kind of, you know, get my coffee, read my Bible, do those kinds of things. Um, so I'm going to get dressed and hopefully head out the door here soon because we have a final walkthrough at 8.30. That's the towel company's like right across the street. So yeah, here we go. We were supposed to have a walkthrough about a half hour before closing, um, but last night I received a text asking if it was possible to do possession two days after closing. <laughs> It is not possible on our side to do it after closing um, and I have written in my contracts like every day that is not that my buyer doesn't have possession is a monetary amount and it's a herder amount because we're supposed to stick to the contract. I'm just going to list the agent right now if I can possibly still swing by and drop off my buyer's closing gift. Um, because I usually like to leave it at the house. I don't like to give it to them because I there's so many emotions and stuff when you're closing and you have a new house and everything that I don't want them to also feel like they need to be so excited about my gift. Like my gift is just there to kind of celebrate the closing and I, it's always something personal. Um, for her, she had mentioned that she likes to garden and she likes organic food and stuff and so I swung by and I made her a like tool set a toolbox um, that I stained and put her name on and then got her some organic uh, starting soil with a couple of organic seed packets and little potter plants um, and so that's her closing gift I like to make stuff personal and you know I like connecting with people like that instead of just something generic or I love a good cutting board, but everyone already has a cutting board. So I've been trying to do more personalized things. So yes, that's where we are with a little bit of drama today, but it's gonna be fine. Um, as I do more and more transactions, I'm realizing that every single one has something that will attempt to derail the process. Um, so I've definitely gone from panicking over stuff to just being like, okay, well, we'll see what we can do about it and it will be fine. And it, so far, 100%, knock on wood, of the time, it has been fine. So yeah, I'm gonna drive on out here, listen to some podcasts, do this closing, probably get some Arby's on the way back, and then make my way to the bank. Although, Title did just now email us our settlement statements, and there's only one area for my brokerage and not also me and our CDF that we send to them always wants it split out because so, our brokerage is great and they really want us to get paid ASAP so we have a tracker sheet and everything and they send out um, uh, the CDFs to the title company so that they know like what is happening with commission checks and so I wrote back this morning because it's the morning of closing. We really should have gotten it a couple of days ago. Asking if there were going to be two. So if there's only one check, I don't get mine until their check clears, which could be Friday. And if not by Friday, it'll be Monday, 
which kind of sucks because I did everything that I needed to to get stuff done and I also need to pay estimated taxes by the 15th so I, I need to have the funds to be able to pay that or I'm gonna get fined and that's gonna be annoying although I guess it wouldn't roll into that I guess it would end up being like third quarter. I'll have to talk to my aunt who's a CPA to find out. But yes, happy Wednesday. Let's drive. So I'm outside the house right now. Um, I was kind of waiting to see if the seller would let me swing by and put my closing gift on the kitchen table. Um, but the listing agent called me and said, or texted me rather, and said that she hadn't responded yet. So I think what the plan is now is I'm pretty sure my buyer has to go to work right after we close today. So I'll just swing by and put it on the porch. It's kind of a cloudy day. Um, but the porch is covered, so I'm just going to put it by the door. It is what it is at this point. So, um, we're about 15 minutes away from the start of closing. So I guess I'm going to head over there and just see my buyer did not get my text today. Um, I sent her, it, granted it was at like 6 30 in the morning cause I had to leave to get here on time. Um, and so she ended up coming to the house and called me wondering where I was cause I wasn't out of my car. Um, so it's just, I think everyone is ready to be closed and be done and we're almost there. We're almost there. Yay. Um, so for some reason I thought that they were, my buyers were still outside the property. I didn't see them drive away after I told them we could not walk through. Um, but they weren't in the car that I thought that they were in. So I was able to pull over really fast and I just left her gift on the porch. Um, I think it's pretty safe. It's honestly, I'll put a little picture. Um, it's honestly a little gardening toolbox that has some soil, some seeds and little planter boxes and a card. Like I, I don't think it's worth stealing I guess like please don't steal it I personalized her thing her little toolbox so I don't think it will get stolen there's no money involved it literally is dirt and some seeds um so we hopefully she'll get it I'll let her know that I left it there so hopefully her boyfriend can go buy the house um yeah yay we are headed to closing and we are all set um heard from the lender everything should go pretty smooth today it really should just be signing and giving the check over this is actually I think the seller is going to be there today I'm not sure if they'll have us like um, in the same room necessarily but this will be my first one where the sellers and the buyers are signing at the same time every other one that I've done which has only been three so far um, they've been separated so we'll see 
I'm just trying to prepare myself that it might be a little bit awkward just because it this was a little bit of a contentious transaction um, so I just want to be myself and be polite and be friendly and everyone can just get closed <laughs> Woo! okay we are closed um, after all of the things I'm just very excited for my buyers I found out in the closing that they got secretly married two weeks ago um, which didn't affect anything in our transaction she was still gonna take title and severalty um, which means just by herself which that's an easy thing to add someone to the title I'm so stoked for them like they hiked up to this mountain and got married just them and some friends which is kind of how I would want to get married as well one of my best friends got married like that a few years ago um, and that makes so much more sense to me than these um, really expensive weddings where you're essentially giving a down payment on a house for a day. I never really understood that. Um, to each their own, I'm not judging anyone there, but I would just say, if I were to get married, which I'm dying alone, but if I were to, that's the way that I would do it. So I'm just very excited for them. Um, so the last month must have been crazy for them because we had some timeline stuff going on with this transaction and all of that and um, so a lot of things have just fallen in place for me and have started making a little bit more sense but the transaction went smoothly today during cl closing um, the seller was very sweet and was telling them like if they have any issues let me know like I said earlier this was my first one where actually the seller was present um, so she was very sweet. She's closing on her other house the next day. Um, I will just say, I don't understand. You know what? No, I'm not gonna say it. I'm not gonna say it. There's no reason. There's no reason to throw people under the bus. Um, so I'm making a quick pit stop again because I got a two hour drive and I talked myself out of Arby's. I don't need Arby's, I want Arby's really badly and I'm starving, but I am not gonna get it. It's only two, maybe three hours so I can eat, which I haven't eaten yet, but I had a big coffee with some coconut oil and some protein and all of that in there. Um, and then I can cook because now I gotta go home and cash this check and then I gotta divvy it all up between my accounts and stuff because as an independent contractor you have to pay estimated taxes and the next quarter is actually due June 15th so because I don't have another closing between now and then I've made the money this quarter that I'm gonna make so I'll just have to put that into um, this payment for this month uh, which I was doing the calculations and I was I put 40% of my pay away because you have your income bracket, your Colorado state tax, and then your 15% self-employment tax um, that you all have to pay. And I'm trying to shoot for the moon and expect that I'm gonna make a lot of money this month or this year. And so I was doing my calculations and it, I was timesing everything by 0.4 and I was like, God, this does not seem like a lot of money. Like this isn't my biggest deal that I've had, but I feel like I should have more money than this. And I realized I was working with the 40% and trying to divvy that up instead of the 60%. So that's an extra 20% that I just got because I was being dumb. But yeah, quick pit stop and then I'm gonna go to the office and drop off their check and then I gotta go to Walmart. I need a water filter. I tried to do those charcoal sticks and be environmental friendly and all of that and the water tastes like poop. So I guess I'm going back to Brita I really tried. I had it in a cute little glass uh, container in my fridge with the little charcoal sticks and it just does not taste good. So I'm not drinking any water. Uh, so I gotta go get that. And I think that's it. I think that's all I need at Walmart. And then I'll go home and finish up my marketing. I'm a little bit late. Me moving and uh, having to dog sit and stuff kind of threw a wrench into my drip campaigns. And I don't have those automated. I do those by hand. So I'm gonna go and work on that and then maybe call it an early day because it's been kind of a crazy two weeks for me and I want to cuddle with my dog and watch the Olympic trials.